really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot. I, I never expected to come out here and do this, uh, and get all this. It's, uh, it's really amazing. I really appreciate it. We love you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I love you all, too. Uh, you know, I've been in D.C. for a whirlwind of a week, and uh, meeting with the president, meeting with Marines, meeting with Americans. But I can tell you right now, nothing is better than meeting with people from my hometown in Kentucky. folks in Greensburg and Derry County, as well as from the folks across the state, has been overwhelming, and I'm proud to call Kentucky my home. Yeah. Many people want to call me a hero. The sound of that word makes me cringe. I'm no hero. Heroes are those who stand up every day and do the right thing. Heroes are those who die or who were injured serving our nation. Heroes are also the family members who support our military. It's not just those who serve on the front lines. As a Marine, I didn't accomplish anything. I was motivated by a challenge to be something bigger. Part of a team that worked, worked together, lifting each other up and working towards a common goal. Every member of our team was as important as the other. Each of our jobs, responsibilities, and duties all contributed to our collective goal. All I accomplished was living up to my responsibilities, protecting what it means to be part of a team, and not allowing my team's actions to go unrewarded or forgotten. So any honors or accolades bestowed on me are simply the realization of others' positive thinking and actions that help me realize my full human potential. Like you all are supporting me here right now. So that's all for you all. You know, on September 8, 2009, was no doubt the worst day of my life. I lost four brothers. First Lieutenant Michael Johnson, Gunnery Sergeant Aaron Kinnefick, Gunnery Sergeant Edwin Johnson, Corpsman jo Doc James Layton. And these four men are the real heroes from that day not me. Since I learned that I would receive the Medal of Honor, I wanted to find a way to honor these men and other men like them. A way to give back to all Marines and their families. So earlier this week, working with the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation, we announced the Dakota, Dakota Meyer Scholarship Initiative. I have committed to raise $1 million by Memorial Day 2012, which is the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation's 50th anniversary, and I am challenging every American, including Marines, veteran Marines, and civilians to join me and match my efforts dollar for dollar. My many sons and daughters of Marines need help to fulfill the dream to get to college, especially the children of wounded Marines. The money that we raise will, will change thousands of lives for generations to come. By investing in their education, we're investing in America's future. Raising a million dollars may not easy, be easy, but my friends and family will tell you I'm definitely up for a, a good challenge. I hope that all Americans will join me in this mission and support the Marine families, particularly our wounded Marine families. In the coming months, we will organize hometown fundraising events, which I hope all of you all will attend to. And, I, and then we've created a website, dakotameyer.com, and that is all the details about the challenge and the upcoming events, so you can find it out there, there. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for my family and friends and teachers from Greene County High School didn't support me, encouraged me, and stand with me like you all are doing right now. The Marine Corps has given me and all of us in this great country so much. Now we have the opportunity to honor them and help this country. Let's do something meaningful for the Marines. Let's help educate their kids. I need you to stand with me and these families. So thank you all. Thank you to the Cal Day event organizers, uh, organizers for having me here and honoring me today. And I appreciate all of you all's support. Thank you and simplify. Hello.